everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I've been playing with a bird's eye view stamp set. It is so adorable. Everybody I know loves it and I have had a blast playing with it. Um, I am going to show you how to make this, what I'm calling a double fun fold, a double Dutch door fun fold. I'm not sure. But basically this part opens like that and this part opens like that. All right. Pretty easy fun fold to make. Um, I pulled in a couple of other stamp sets I want to show you. There are no sentiments in here, so I am using Sending Hugs from, whoops, not that one, Sending Hugs from Layering Leaves, all right? And then this little tiny pink heart is from Crafting With You. All right, well, let's make our card base first. Um, I have Tahitian Tide, a lovely new color from Stampin' Up, and... We're gonna, you're gonna need your trimmer. And I've got, basically I've taken a half sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and scored it at four and a fourth. Now I'm gonna put it in, and I basically wanna cut this in half. I think my original is a little less than half, but I'm gonna aim for about half. Um, I'm gonna put it in uh, right at about two and an eighth. All right, and then actually, yeah, the, it doesn't, I don't know why, but it doesn't look like it's half. But I think I'm gonna go with it. I don't know, it's distorted. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, now I may have to stick my head in the camera. This little end right here of your um, blade, you want to make sure it's right at four and a fourth where your score line is. And then slide it up. That is much more than um, half, isn't it? I don't know why my measurements are off. That's okay. Well, you know what? Well, okay, we'll take a little bit more off. So now you're gonna come down and stop right where you cut that piece out. Okay, now if my measurements were right, that's where we would stop. <clears throat> but I think we're gonna go just a little bit further and cut a little bit more of this off because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. I think that'll make it a little bit better. There we go, that's better. I knew something didn't look right. Now, you're gonna just fold this like this, and then you've got this piece, it's two and three fourths by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth, and that's gonna go right there. Really, really easy. So let's add some stamping to this. To the little front flap, we're gonna use Tahitian Tide ink, and we're gonna use our little bird first. And I'm just gonna stamp her across the bottom, just kind of spacing her out. I'm not real worried about perfectly aligned or anything, um, because this is just gonna kind of fade into the background, creating a pattern for us. So we'll stamp that one there, and that one there. And then let's close it and stamp that one there, okay? Now get your little bird again. Ooh, my pad must be really juicy. And we're just gonna stamp some more along the edge like that. Okay, so basically we've just kind of created our own patterned paper. Now on this one, we're gonna use the round glasses and I like to start in the middle. So start right in the middle and work your way out and then down. All right, so you wanna offset them each time. Let's see if I can cover up my smudge. There we go. All right, so you're just really having a good little time here making a pattern with these glasses. And are they perfectly aligned? Nope. Is it okay? Of course. All right, and then I like to have them hanging off the edge too. Boy, my ink pad is super juicy. Keep getting those. <clears throat> Look at my <laughs> stamp. That means my ink pad is super juicy. Now, I've got a piece of basic white and I'm just gonna stick that right in here in the middle. All right. And then I'm gonna take this card front 
put adhesive on the bag if I can get my adhesive to behave. And then you're gonna wanna center it. And this is always where I struggle to get it on straight. All right, let's see. And I made another smudge. Do I have ink on my hands? I must. I need to dejuicify my pad. <laughs> if you ever heard that word, dejuicify. All right, so see how that works? Boop, like that. Don't worry, that's just a place for us to embellish. All right, now I have some Something Eclectic Designer Series paper I've cut to fit perfectly right in there. I'm gonna put that, I love notebook paper, notebook looking designer series paper, it's just the cutest. Now on the inside, I took these glasses and stamped them a couple of times like that. All right. Now, on the front of this, we're gonna do our embossing of our sentiment. Now, we already have a bunch of ink there, so we really need to use our embossing buddy because we want, for sure, our um, granules of embossing powder to only stick to this ink. All right, so sending hugs, I'm gonna do it right here towards the bottom. All right, let's see. Our embossing powder is going to do what it's supposed to do. Yep, that embossing buddy worked perfectly. All right, let me grab my heat tool and we will heat it. And you'll know that it is done when it turns bright white and shiny. You can see it already started. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the basic construction of our card created, right? Let's do our little bird now. Um, I'm gonna use this bird, the front-facing bird, and we're gonna stamp him or her twice. All right, so Memento Black once here and once here. Now the second one, is just for the glasses, because we're gonna cut the glasses out and pop them up onto our, our original bird. All right, so stamp your glasses just like that. And now we're gonna color. This bird is the one we're gonna spend all the time coloring. Down here, we're just gonna color inside the glasses. I have got Tahitian Tide stamp and Blends. And I'm gonna start with my light. And I'm just gonna kind of add some color around the edges and then flip color inside the middle so it's not too dark. Now I'm gonna come into the inside part and really add in that ink like that. Now take your dark and you can kind of add a little bit of dark like this around to give him some dimension. Now I'm gonna take my smoky slate and I'm gonna add a little bit of smoky slate just lightly. I'm just flicking it around like that, around the edge. Then I'm gonna take my color lifter and I'm gonna flick that smoky slate towards the middle. That's gonna give our bird just a little bit of color on her face. We don't really want it smoky slate but we want it a little bit colored. Okay, so now down here, we've got to color in whatever's inside the glasses, okay? And then um, I could take my smoky slate and just go around the glasses like this. I'm just kind of flicking the color and then I'll take my color lifter and flick that color out towards the middle. Okay, last but not least, you wanna get um, either Lemon Lolly or Daffodil Delight and color in the nose. Now there are no dyes for this stamp set, unfortunately, but lucky for us, we have some great scissors. They are called paper snips and they were made for fussy cutting. They are little and they're sharp and they do a great job. The first thing that I'm gonna do is cut off all the extra cardstock like that. Then I'm gonna take my scissor, my paper snips, well, they are scissors, 
and go around the edge, staying right on the outside of the black line image. Now, is it gonna be perfect? No. Does it have to be? No. This little guy, you'll notice that the lines on the edge of the image aren't perfect either. The artist drew our little guy kind of in a messy style. If I, that's probably not the right term for it, but you'll notice it's the lines are kind of flicked and they're not perfect. So that gives us even more room for our cutting to not be absolutely perfect. All right, now once you get that, you're gonna go over to our second image. And this time we are just cutting out those scissors. All right, I'm gonna cut across here, get that excess cardstock out of the way. And then, all the way down. Now I can very carefully take my snips and go inside the glasses. Careful not to rip your glasses. So see, now we have <laughs> these cute little, these cute little eyes inside the glasses. Now I'm going to take two dimensionals, mini dimensionals, and put them on the back. And stick those right there on my little bird. All right, now get your regular dimensionals. And we will add our little guy right to the center of this vellum stylish shaped circle. I've got a piece of designer series paper, again, something eclectic. I'm gonna put it right under our bird, and then I'm just gonna snip it at an angle like that. Okay, now we can bring this over take our dimensionals and we will hide them behind our little guy like this put that right there i've got some ribbon this is our really cute um organdy or i can't remember glittered organdy ribbon it's so cute sparkly and it's soft it's not too uh stiff so it's easy to tie and so cut those little legs at a angle and then we'll put this on with a mini glue dot right there now I have cut out some little uh, bubble bath hearts these are from the give it a whirl die set and we'll just add a couple around our little our little owl and then we'll carry over the hearts with this little heart stamp that I told you was from the crafting with you stamp set and we'll take some bubble bath ink and just stamp that little heart around on the white. See if I can cover up my smudge there. And then we are done. All right, so there you have it, a fun double Dutch fold card, uh, fancy fold card, if you will. Uh, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog and grab the free PDF that has the measurements and the supplies and check out the other two projects I have using the adorable bird's eye view stamp. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.